Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, the Infinity on the Beach Barbados feature to the nine-year-old gelding show the money on an afternoon highlighted by a Ricky Walker triple. In Jamaica, champion trainer Jason Da Costa unleashes a talented three-year-old on the Rimsky Trophy field. While the cold rhythm buzz is on song in the Bunny Blue Flag Trophy race, Jamaican jockey Anthony Thomas beats the Gulfstream Park champion again in a tight finish, this time winning for a trainer who is a former Jamaican national footballer. Plus the weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent, our opening story from Barbados. Minutes before Saturday's Infinity on the Beach feature at the Garrison Savannah, the three horse show the money was showing as a favorite, but the final odds as the starting gates opened had number five, the code, sneaking up as the betting choice. Three scratches, including 2022 Triple Crown winner Hurricane, the four horse, leaving only four starters. But check out how competitive the betting is. Shane Dome, the two horse, and number six, Bayesian Azteca, the outsiders, as five to two bets. The six to five favorite is number five, the code, and the nine year old show the money who beat Shane Doan and the code the last time he raced in November is the three to two second favorite. Watching the five and a half furlong sprint from the combox, Dean Springer. As they head down the back stretch, it's a speed duel up front. Beige and Azteca on the outside, Shane Doan on the inside, then show the money. A length and a half back, they come to the code, they round the far turn. And Beige and Azteca, that's the leader by a length and a half from Shane Doan. Show the money under the pump. The code is beginning his run from the back of the field. The opening quarter, 26 and 3. And it is Beige and Azteca, who she's the leader on the outside. Here comes the code. Between horses, show the money. On the inside, Shane Doan has had enough. Inside the quarter pole, Beige and Azteca running into the middle of the course. On the white outside, here's the code. Between horses, show the money. And down the stretch they come. Beige and Azteca on the inside. Surrenders the lead us on the outside. Show the money, picks it up. Show the money and the code. Show the money on the left-handed drive. The code with one last desperate search. Not going to get there. Show the money, wins it now on the left-hand drive. Enrico Boss Boy Prescott, who won 43 races in Canada last year, fights off Ricky Walcott in the finish for the repeat win aboard Show the Money after they scored on last November's Independence Day holiday card. So after going winless in 10 starts over three years, Mark Goodridge's UK bred Show the Money completes back-to-back -back wins, superbly conditioned by 2023 Sandalane Gold Cup winning trainer Remel Perkins Lovell. Good ride too by Enrico Prescott, who you may remember won the 2019 Barbados Derby in a 21 to one upset aboard the Philly Nazinga. Show the money, scoring in the Infinity on the Beach trophy by a length as a three to two second favorite, chased by the favorite, the code, with the front running Bayesian Azteca third, one minute eight and two fifths the winning time for five and a half furlongs. Also Saturday at the Garrison Savannah, former Northlands Park champion jockey in Canada, Ricky Walcott had a solid day landing a three-timer, closing that triple in the Crane Resort Trophy fifth race over 7.8 furlongs, a field there that included the 2023 double winner, Social Media, heading to the home stretch, long-time leader, dancing prospector still with a big lead, Walcott patient in third aboard the second favorite, Aries. They come towards the quarter pole and that same prospector has about nine lengths advantage on Phil Moore's. Then there's Aries, two back to undisputed as social media. Inside the quarter pole and that same prospector, lead is shortened to six. Phil Moore's is saying on his second, Aries is third and there are no more turns. And that same prospector trying to go from go to war on the outside. Here's Aries and Phil Moore's running him down. That same prospector is calling for the line. Aries picks him up and puts him away and goes on to win it. Fillmore stays on to be second. A perfectly measured ride by Walcott. A few right-hand cracks of the whip and Aries gets the win by a length. The Derby runner-up in 2022 behind a Triple Crown winner Hurricane. Aries lands his fourth win in 17 lifetime starts. Walcott adds to wins he had earlier on the card with Zazzy in the Sandals Resort co-feature and the Hilton Barbados event with Thunder Lady. As the 8 to 5 second favorite, Margot Atkinson's Aries lands the Crane Resort for trainer Kenny John, the 7 to 2 bet Fillmore second with Dancing Prospector third, the favorite Undisputed fourth, and Social Media, who hasn't won since his Derby triumph in August, fifth, 140.80 the winning time for 7.8 furlongs. Races Saturday and Sunday this past weekend in Jamaica. Saturday's main event, the Rimsky Trophy, run in honor of the 1975 Horse of the Year. 
Seven starters, three-year-old non-winners of two, and imported three-year-old and up maidens going six furlongs here. And it's the on-debut US bred Fun Can Dunn, the odds-on favorite, setting the pace under two-time champion apprentice Shamari Muir. It is Fun Can Dunn, eking out a two and maybe three length lead in front of KD Strong Racing in second, right against the rail that is amazing force be behind amazing force and coming on nicely that is also smart backing out a bit that is riches to rags then comes uh, recovering uh, lucy in the sky and uh, racing at the back of the field cleopatra queen but this Bun can done uh, telling this field tata about five or six lengths in front racing in second that's uh, Amazing force. It is Fun Can Done at the Furlong Pole. And this one looks done. Fun Can Done. About five, six, seven, maybe eight lengths. Running them into double digits. This Fun Can Done eased in the end by the rider. Fun Can Done eased down. A very easy victory. Impressive indeed. Kevin Burnside on commentary. Fun Can Done is on an afternoon stroll here in an uncontested victory. Shamari Muir, a winner of 146 races in Canada while he rode there between 2016 and 2022, aboard an impressive first-time runner here, Fun Can Done, for champion trainer Jason Costa and multiple champion owner Carlton Watson. Fun Can Done by nine and a quarter lengths as the one to two favorite on debut lands the Rimsky Trophy ahead of Amazing Force and Riches to Rags, debutants one, two, three in the finish. The winning time for six furlongs are pretty quick, 1.12 and 2 fifths. Sunday's Cayman Spark feature was the Bonnie Blue Flag Trophy race in memory of the Hall of Fame U.S. bred racer who was a two-time horse of the year, 1964 and 1965. The field of 12, the biggest of the weekend, and the front group tightly bunched, leaving the backstretch, watched in the com box by Brian Rickman. The Goodwitch has now taken charge. The Goodwitch narrowly from a baby like Rhythm Buzz right there in third. Uh, John Krojeff now begins a move. Snowflakes overtakes. Sunity and Chippy and uh, get a Pepsi race next ahead of Justin Biden. Sunset Silhouette pump for more. Big Big Daddy races up next. Zion toward the back. And last of all, it's Gambler as the field will come thundering into the top of the lane in the bonnie blue flag. Who do you like here? Pete Ayala would say. And Rhythm Buzz now snatches that lead. A Rhythm Buzz grabs the advantage. Baby Like is running down against the rail. In between them, that's the Goodwitch just being switched off a true line. Sunny T and Chippy trying to close up with Get a Pepsi, but Rhythm Buzz continues to hold the advantage. Inside the final 16th, it is Rhythm Buzz, driven flat to the boards by Javanil Patterson. Sunny T and Chippy coming late, but too late is a cry. Rhythm Buzz wins the Bonnie Blue Flag. After four victories in 2023, Rhythm Buzz opens his winning account for the new year for trainer Vinnie Atkinson, 2018-2000 Guinness winning rider Javanil Patterson in the irons. Rhythm Buzz by a length as a 3-5 to five favorite, Sonny T and Chippy closing for second at 6-1 odds, 134 and 3 fifths, the winning time. We leave you with the story of the Jamaican jockey Anthony Thomas for the second time this month, defeating Gulfstream Park champion jockey Edgar Zass in a close finish. In Wednesday's maiden claiming second race, Thomas, who also had a win on Sunday, was aboard the 8-5 to favorite Antillian, conditioned by former Jamaica international footballer, now racehorse trainer, Leon Minot, a.k.a. Juvenile. Coming off the final bend, Thomas, who was last most of the trip in the yellow cap, in about fifth position here, but closing well on the outside. They're at the top of the stretch. Sir Gusa turns for home on top by two and a half. Way out the center is Antillian. Ginger Snapjack, battalion bound out the rail. They come past the eighth pole. Sir Gusa, clear by two and a half. Weaving between horses, Antillian surging late and up on the outside. Ginger Snapjack, Antillian's gaining good ground. Antillian is in a win photo. With a steady hand ride, Thomas in a last to first effort. Out guns ass aboard the front running Sir Gusa in a tight finish. Trainer Leon Minot's first win of the year this. He's in the white shirt in the winner's enclosure. His Barbican minor league coach in Jamaica, Liebert Halliman, the plaid shirt, also sharing in the moment. The 8-5 to five favorite, Antillian, gets up in time for the win. Thomas repeating the narrow victory he had two weeks earlier aboard Love Paradox, beating Zass and Chloe's toy, then by a half a length, this time by a nose. Over the 2-1 to one shot, Sir Gusa, clocking 140.26 over a mile. Our weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA before we go. I've counted in the past week since our last show, 16. Among them, a flurry of victories at Florida's Gulfstream Park. 
where the Barbadian Sapi Joseph Jr. champion trainer there had five wins, including a Saturday double. The Jamaican trainer Ron Crichton also had two wins on Saturday. The Jamaican trainer Matthew Williams won for the Jamaican owner Don Webby. Elsewhere, the Barbadian jockey Rashawn Latchman at Charlestown and Jamaica's champion trainer Jason Acosta at Mahoning Valley also had wins in the past week. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.